Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting mathematical challenging problem on equation solving. The given equation is x plus 1 over x equal to 1 minus x power 5 over 5x square. x is non-zero and x belongs to real number. We have to find out solutions. So if you will see your left hand side, then it is in reciprocal equation form. But if you will try to convert right hand side also, it is not happening. So what I will do here, I will simply multiply both sides with 5x square as x is non-zero. So I can multiply the denominator of RHS. See what will happen after that. I can cancel these two terms immediately. Now what is left? Let's expand 5x cube plus 5x equal to 1 minus x power 5. Take all the term to LHS. x power 5 plus 5x cube plus 5x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will give a special substitution. Why it is called a special? Because substitution is hyperbolic. x I will put t minus 1 over t. This is our substitution. Let's substitute over here. t minus 1 over t whole power 5 plus 5 times t minus 1 over t whole q plus 5 times t minus 1 over t minus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to expand all the three. See it is not constraint of means last three terms. Only problem is with this. So we will handle this one separately. Now power is 5. Pascal's triangle is required. So let us write first the coefficients. The coefficients of the expansion. So I can write for power 2 it is 1 1 1 2 1. This is for power 2. For power 3 1 3 3 1. Simply add both the numbers and write over there. For power 4 1 4 6 4 1. For power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So our coefficients for the expansion, let me write here, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Using Pascal's triangle. Let me expand this one using Pascal's triangle. So I can write directly also. Let me write here, t power 5. Then I will write minus 5 because 1 over t is negative, t4 times 1 over t separately. Okay, then we can write plus 10, 1 degree, you will take lesser than the previous one. So 10 t cube times whole square of the second term. So I will write 1 over t square. Then fourth coefficient is, see here, it is 10. So I will write 10 t square times 1 over t cube done with minus sign check it this plus 5t times 1 over t power 4 and last term would be 1 over t power 5. This is our expansion for t minus 1 over t whole power 5. Now we can cancel few of the terms so let's cancel it t power 5 then I will write minus 5t cube then I will consider 10t then I will write minus 10 over t. Then I will write 5 over t cube. Then last term is minus 1 over t power 5. This first bracket t minus 1 over t whole power 5 is done. So I will write directly this term in that place. And then this is cubic formula and here only algebraic addition subtraction. So let's do it. So I can write our left hand side first that would be t power 5 minus 5 t cube then plus 10 t then minus 10 over t then plus 5 over t cube then minus 1 over t power 5 then plus 5 t cube it is expansion of whole cube also 
फाइव टी क्यूब नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर फाइव टी क्यूब माइनस फाइव ओवर टी क्यूब फाइव वॉज देयर सो फाइव इज इन द एक्सपेंशन ऑल्सो माइनस फिफ्टीन टी प्लस फिफ्टीन ओवर टी थ्री ए स्क्वायर बी प्लस थ्री ए बी नाउ लास्ट टर्म इज फाइव टाइम्स टी माइनस वन बाई टी सो आई विल राइट फाइव टी माइनस फाइव ओवर टी एंड माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो now see few terms you can cancel immediately let me demonstrate how it is 5t cube minus 5t cube this term will be over 5 over t cube 5 over t cube with negative sign now you can see 10t 5t 15t so that would be cancelled with 15t with negative sign similarly you can see minus 10 over t minus 5 over t so that would be cancelled with 15 over t so i can cancel the three terms now you can see what is left i can write over there t power 5 minus 1 over t power 5 equal to 1 or minus 1 equal to 0 let me write equal to 1 now i will multiply both sides with t power 5 presuming t non zero x non zero so t is the substitution with x so x is also non zero so i will write here t power 10 minus 1 equal to t power 5 so t power 10 minus t power 5 equal to 1 now i will give one more substitution if you will see let t power 5 equal to a so i can write this is a square minus a minus 1 equal to 0 Let's apply quadratic formula immediately to find out a minus b so one plus minus under the root b square so one minus four ac so four divided by two a so two so a is ultimately one plus minus square root five over two. Now we have known a value that means t is also known. Let me find out what would be the value of t so t power 5 is equal to a and what is a a is 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 so raise both sides power 1 by 5 or fifth root let's consider fifth root both sides so you can write t will be equal to 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 Taking one fifth power both sides. Okay, so after taking plus and minus signs separately, we can write one plus root five over two whole power one by five and one minus root five over two whole power one by five. Now this is our t. So what is our x? X was t minus one over t. So let's find out t minus one over t value for first one. 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5. So I will write here x is equal to t minus 1 over t. I will put the value first one 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 minus 1 over 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5. Now I will do rationalization. See how it is. inside the bracket i will write only this term i am i am showing this term only i can write 1 plus root 5 over 2 and i will multiply numerator and denominator 1 minus root 5 over 2 so what i will write over there let me write that term directly 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 this is our first term minus i will multiply numerator denominator with 1 minus root 5 let's do it 1 plus root 5 times 1 minus root 5 then over 2 and see because we are multiplying power would be intacted it would be as it is now you can see a plus b a minus b so it is 1 minus root 5 square that means from numerator i will get minus 4 from denominator's numerator means from here i will get minus 
so i can consider this term would be 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 minus 1 minus root 5 whole power 1 by 5 over minus 2 raised to the power 1 by 5. In next step, I will take this minus out as power is odd. So I will write 1 plus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5 plus 1 minus root 5 whole power 1 by 5 over 2. Denominator is 2. This is our answer. And if you will check for the second value also, for this value also, it will come out same. Let me demonstrate the next value also. So x will be equal to t minus 1 by t. And this time we are considering t is equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5. Okay, let's put over there. So I will write 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power is 1 by 5 minus 1 over 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5. Same job we will do as we have done with the previous solution. So I will write here 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power 1 by 5. Then conjugate multiplication. I will write 1 plus root 5 whole power is 1 by 5. Now in denominator also, so I need to write 1 minus root 5 times 1 plus root 5 over 2 and this whole power is 1 over 5. Now a plus b, a minus b. So in this place we will write, let me write one more time, 1 minus root 5 over 2 whole power is 1 over 5 minus 1 plus root 5, numerator is as it is and denominator I can write. It is a plus b a minus b 1 minus root 5 is square 1 minus 5 so minus 4 minus 4 over 2 so minus 2 okay and this power is 1 over 5. Now this minus will come here. So this is same solution which you have calculated the previous for the root value 1 over 5 and then it will become plus 1 plus root 5 whole power 5 over 2 also whole power 1 over 5. So the, here we are having same result, same answer. I hope you like this video. This video will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Take care. Good luck.